Good evening, I'm Annette Pegler. The Shelby County School Board is preparing to hold a vote this week that will decide to either keep interim superintendent Dr. Joris Ray or continue a national search to replace him. Dr. Ray was accused of sexual harassment last year, but an external investigation found the claim was untrue. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher spoke with a parent organization and a former school board member to get their opinions. Rebecca is live in Midtown. Well, hey, good evening, Annette. Well, Shelby County School Board members will vote here come Tuesday on that decision or not to have a search for a superintendent. I spoke with a parent advocacy group. They say they want to see that process of a, shirt, a search rather take place. But I also spoke with a former board member. She says that Dr. Joris Ray, the interim superintendent, is already qualified for the role. We just want the best person to lead our district forward. I mean, not saying Dr. Ray won't be the best person. Sarah Carpenter is part of Memphis Lift, an organization aimed at educating and empowering parents. It has more than 1,000 parents as volunteers who Carpenter says want to see a search for the new Shelby County School superintendent take place. They see you on the news saying, we going to do a national search. And then all of a sudden, no search. That throw up a red flag, especially in low-income communities. Dr. Joris Ray was named interim superintendent back in January. Now a resolution is being considered to not have a national search, but instead allow Ray to continue serving in his role. I spoke with Sarah Lewis by phone, a former principal and former Memphis City Schools board member. She is Dr. Ray's mentor. He's knowledgeable. And he's got, you know, he knows where, he knows the district, he knows the city. I think that people coming in, they have to not only learn the district, they have to learn the city and how things work. And according to Lewis, Ray is responsive to parents and is already familiar with the district's struggles, but some still want to see other options and see nothing wrong with competition. It's nothing personal. It's just that we want what's best for our kids. And again, he may be best for our kids. I don't know. But if you don't put somebody there to compare him to, and how you going to know who best? Jarvis is very sensitive to the fact that this district exists to provide a service to children. He's experienced. So, I mean, what more do we want? And this meeting will, in fact, show if the board does want more for the superintendent role. Parents are advised to get here early. It's set to take place Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. We're live tonight in Midtown. I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News. Rebecca.